So the best way to edit the 4K HDR Dolby Vision video file uh, from the iPhone 12 Pro is on the iPhone 12 Pro with iMovie. So if you are thinking about doing it on Final Cut Pro, think twice. I'll show you how it looks on Final Cut Pro, but for now, this is how it looks on iMovie on the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, you can just do it is right, right there and the A14 Bionic just uh, screams through this and it really flexes its muscles the processor and uh, it's it's got good editing power it's like all baked in um, iMovie iPhone 12 Pro 4k HDR Dolby Vision it's a breeze so what you can do is that you can actually edit it on the phone and airdrop it to your iMac or a MacBook Pro and then edit it with Final Cut Pro. That's one solution because HDR is a complicated, uh, Dolby Vision HDR is complicated and for right now Final Cut doesn't have the updated uh, version to deal with it. iMovie is the only one that deals with it so the colors will look pretty good on the iMovie and Apple TV by the way or any HDR compatible device but if it's not a HDR compatible device the colors will look way off as you can see on Final Cut Pro you can see his skin tone is pretty pretty good pretty pretty okay but once you add it to your timeline this is how the footage is looking it's completely overblown overexposed so we have to convert this from HDR to Rec. 709 SDR. Um, high dynamic range to Rec. 709 standard dynamic range. To do that, we can actually go and look up for HDR tools on Final Cut Pro. Um, and we can add that to the clip. So it's gonna give you a better image, a different color, but you still have to color grade. You have you can add a custom LUT. Um, but before you add the custom LUT, you can click on the HDR tool to to see if you can do it from. Uh, you can convert it from HDR to Rec. 709 SDR, or if you want to do it from HLG to PQ, that's up to you. But I chose HDR to Rec. 709 SDR. After that, you can actually apply a custom LUT which is also a possibility. You can just do that. Go custom LUT, click on one, apply it. It's completely overblown. You need This is where your color grading skills come into play. Uh, if you have a specific LUT that you like, you can skip this, this step. You can usually easily do it. Uh, you can apply the custom LUT and it's gonna look the way you want it to look. But I don't have a set custom LUT that looks the way I want so I will have to do the color grading and I am not good with color grading so here you can actually play around with the highlights midtones uh, the exposure all of these um, with this whole uh, with the whole image so again the good thing about this HDR 10-bit uh, 422 Dolby Vision is that the image doesn't fall apart that much if you do the color grading and that's that's one of the reasons Apple actually went for this even though it's coming out from a very small sensor so this is something that you have to do if you want to edit with Final Cut for now and then you can export it and then upload it or, or, or publish it or hand it over to your client um, but if you want to skip all this step and you want to keep the HDR and you want to just edit the HDR video and you want to look at the way it looks like here, the best way to do it is that you go to your um, go to go go to iMovie on your phone, which is which has been updated to be compatible with the HDR Dolby Vision, and you edit it from there. So as of right now, iMovie is the best option on iPhone 12 Pro and also the new iPad Air. Um, so yeah, that's until Apple comes up with an update on Final Cut Pro. Anyways, thank you so much for watching ladies and gents. I hope you guys uh, liked this video and it was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
if you disliked it you know what to do and uh, also you know what to do if you want more content like this please first subscribe to the channel until next time this is Kazi signing out take care stay safe